Hey there folks, this is Dan Bell, and today another, just a really quick example of integrating part of your project online environment into Microsoft Teams. So uh, typical, this, this scenario is gonna outline, I'm a team member, I work on projects, I'd like a central location to view, you know, what should I be focusing on as far as project work, and I use Teams as my hub for everything. Okay, uh, so what I did is, here's my Teams, and I have a number of, of projects that I belong to, but what I wanted to do is create a channel, a team here called Project Delivery, and then in here, I'm just gonna put like high-level related items that don't pertain to a single project, but rather all projects I'm working on perhaps, you know, whatever the scenario might be for you. And what I would like to do is have my timesheet show up here, so every day I can come on here and go to Project Delivery, open up General and go here and find a tab that uh, has my timesheet, okay? Now, the first thing I wanna do is I will go to my project online environment, here's project center, and I wanna to go to my timesheet here. And uh, pretty simple, just copy my URL. So I'm, I'm copying specifically from the timesheet because whenever I go to this, this channel in the team, I would like the channel in the team to be on my timesheet rather than me having to navigate within the channel in project online to the timesheet, okay? So here I am, I'm in project delivery, I want it on the general channel, and I'm gonna click the plus sign, click website, and I'm gonna name it, and we'll call it, call it timesheet, paste the URL right there. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and click save. And there it is. There's my timesheet, right? So so again, every day I walk in here, you know, I, I walk into, uh, look at my teams, and I want to be focused on, you know, what is it that I have to be concerned with. I just bring my timesheet in here. I can see that I have the ability to add operational activities here. And then I have a project that I happen to belong to, business development plan right there. You know, if I need to come in here each day and log in my time, maybe it was Thursday and I didn't log in any time and I'm working on that particular task, I can take care of that. And at this point I can go ahead and I can, you know, typically what I do is I enter time throughout the day, all day, send progress for all tasks. You'll go ahead and see this change from not submitted to submitted. And there are the eight hours all submitted to that particular project. If I scroll over, I can see there should be 32 actual, right? So there's 32 right there, 32 actual I'm submitting. And uh, yeah, that's it. So, so pretty quick. You can integrate many different areas within project online into your uh, Teams environment. I had another video where I integrated part of the project file. So, so, you know, if we were to look at it here, I'm a team member and maybe I want the project files for a specific project in here. And instead of having teams for every one of them, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a channel. And I'll call this, right, what is this? My business development project. And uh, we'll go ahead and click add. And that's gonna create a channel called business development. And what I might wanna do here is maybe I wanna have the project documents show up there. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna find that business development plan. And I believe it's down here a little ways. There's business development plan right there. Right, so I can either go into the project or I can click on the dots here, click go to this project site. And there could be different areas within the site that I wanna uh, bring in there, but specifically right now I'm focusing on the project documents and really all I care about is I want the documents in there for now. And I want them separately, so I'm gonna go copy that URL, go back here, and here we are. Remember I just created business development on the project delivery. I'm going to use my website Right, project site documents, paste the link in there. I don't need to post about it on the channel. Click save. And there is my document repository. It already has several templates in here that I can start working on if I need to. If I want, I can have a conversation about this as well. Hey, maybe I'm gonna send the template to somebody. Um, you know, what you can do is copy the URL to this item, right? Let's copy the link. Copy, copy. Close out of it, you're gonna start a conversation here. Please update the document for this project. I can paste it right in there, click save. And then uh, this will pop up on Dan Shackelford's team's posts, right? And he'll see that the template's right there. You click on it, you can start working on it and so forth. And, um, you know, again, just a way to, to bring, pull things into a central hub, right? Instead of going all over, uh, different applications and clicking around, finish some work on this. I can go ahead and report some time on my timesheet, right? So maybe I worked another eight hours on this particular day on that one. 
we're going to go ahead and submit progress for all tasks and we'll see the next one change to awaiting approval and uh, there you go hopefully folks you learned something from this a little bit about working with project and line teams together any questions or comments uh, suggestions on videos feel free to reach out love to hear from you have a great day thank you